Well, hey there, hot stiff. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, a breakup coaching session, or a bath cleansing ritual kit, it, the kit comes with two 10-hour burn candles, as well as white sage and a beautiful bath blend, blend of many different salts. I have meditated and prayed over it for 10 days. Scorpio, it is a beautiful kit. I would recommend trying it if you like to take bath cleansings for your energy. You can visit www.scorpiopriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting below. I just had a really great meditation, Scorpio. Uh, I'm actually feeling great. I was feeling a little tired and just blah. Some of you may be feeling a little anxious, a little tired, not feeling your best right now. I'm in that vibe myself. I've had a hard time getting it back together since my little trip with my daughters. With that being said, astrologically, it's very, very uh, common to be feeling that way right now. We do have uh, five planets in Taurus and they are all moving to 29 degrees. And um, 29 degrees is one of the most important degree when you're talking about astrology because it's uh, about endings, closures, release, and letting go. So if you've been feeling a little tired, anxious, blah, you feel like something's coming or something's ending, it's most likely because collectively it is. A lot of you here, uh, today is the Jupiter kissing me, which is it. the sun and Jupiter are one degree apart, and it is the luckiest day in astrology. So with that being said, if you're not feeling great, if you're feeling anxious, on edge, or tired, just breathe through this energy, and soon, somewhere around the full moon, around the 23rd, the Sagittarian full moon, you may start feeling like, you know what, it's time to get my butt in gear. So in my meditation, I had a great meditation, by the way, uh, and I meditated for myself, but then I meditated, I did a quick meditation on your energy. When I went back into meditation, I started hearing, now you're just somebody that I used to know, somebody, somebody that I used to know. Oh, I used to love this song. Now you're just somebody that I used to know, do. I love that song. I don't know who, what artist that is, but I... um brings back really good memories. With that being said, some of you, this person that we're reading for here is just somebody that you used to know now, period. We are trying to see what it is the person on your mind, Scorp, is uh, wanting to hide from you. What is it that they don't want you to know? Um, but I feel like one of the, the problems or not a problem here with this person is they are no longer a part of your life. You may be curious about what it is they don't want you to know, but it seems like this person is just someone you used to know now, right? There's consequences, there's karma, there's fucking cause and effect. You can't treat people you love like shit. You can't lie to them, cheat on them. You can't act the way you have and expect me to show up for you. There's karmic debts being paid right now. This person is just somebody that you used to know, period, or that's what you're threatening them with. Maybe you have told them, you know, uh, listen, uh, when I when my cutoff game is hard and when I decide to cut you off, but by now, because for most, most Scorpios, we will try and we will try and we will try again. But when we are done, we are through. And a lot of you have gotten to that point. It's cause and effect, consequence. The thing is, Scorpio, is some of you have karmic debts that are being paid off right now. Um, some of you have some karma that's being paid from past lives. It's not even from this lifetime. Um, a lot of you are dealing with a person that's going through bad karma, but because you still have an energy cord to them or because you have not fully yeah, walked away from them, Scorp, you are mirroring them and actually picking up on a lot of their bad energy. 
okay? If you are involved with a person that's going through karma, my friend, you will be pulled down in it. So if you are thinking about or considering going back to someone who has treated you badly, please be careful, Scorpio, because there are shared feelings here and you will start picking up on this person's karma and bad energy. That may already be happening. This person craves you. They feel it's only you in their mind. They're infatuated. They adore you. They feel addicted to you. But the problem is, is their bad behavior. This person doesn't want to lose you, but they don't want to do anything to keep you either. They don't want to make the changes required to be in a healthy, happy relationship. They don't want to make the sacrifices. And, and that's the whole problem. It's not that they don't love you. It's not that they don't adore you. As a matter of fact, they do. My twin, I love him to death. We've been in separation for many years. I have no desire to be with him, but I adore him. I, I, I just love him to death. He's not healthy. He's very 3D. He could be laid up with two other women right now for all I know. And I'm talking, we're talking a very long time ago. I am not still hurting or in pain about it. But I'm just making a point that when you have an actual twin flame, when you have meant your actual twin flame, uh, 10 years can pass and you you just still adore them. And, and some of you are there. You're getting to a point where you adore them. They adore you but you're not looking to be together in any way, shape, or form because you know this person isn't capable of giving you what you deserve and what you desire. If you're not there yet, Scorpio, you may have to be. This is not someone who wants to make the required, take the required steps to be healthy and happy, not yet at least, because they're dealing, why consequences? They're dealing with a lot of consequence. They're dealing with karmic debts. And although this could have been a beautiful soul connection at one point, at this point, it's almost damn near an obsession. This person uh, has some things happening very fast. In their life, things falling apart left and right because it is heavy-ass karmic debt, I feel, for this person. What they don't want you to know is they are all determined here, Scorpio, to uh, bring you back into their life in some capacity. But again, I don't feel they're ready to do any kind of necessary work or have done any work. I think they've been under some heavy ass karma. I think you're sharing feelings with them. And that could be one of the reasons why you're not feeling great, especially if you still are in communication with this person. I would be really careful. You do not want to take on this person's karma. There seems to be <clears throat> trust issues, religious views. Yeah, this person just returns. They just, they pop back up, right? This is someone who after months, years, they just pop back up, weeks. Hey, Scorpio, how are you? And uh, expect you to just be all about it. They have major trust issues and they don't want you to know this. They don't want you to know that they have been the problem. They want you to feel like you're the problem. But the problem is this person's trust issues. They don't trust you and they don't trust that you are devoted to them. They're afraid to be left alone. So they just keep a lot of options or they continue to act badly. And it's all about them not being able to trust the journey, to trust you or to trust that you would, you know, really do anything for them. You, I'm sure you have said that, but they have a blockage when it comes to trusting you or trusting anybody for that matter. This person is craving you. They don't want you to know that. Um, tell me about obsession, please. They're about to pop back up. They're like a damn zombie. This person comes in, they they uh, bang you with text messages, and then they disappear again for another five weeks. It's just very in, inconsistent energy that I'm feeling to whoever I'm channeling today. This person wants to look like they're winning all the time. They They feel like they're winning when they're with you. 
but they are filled with self-doubt. There is so much mirroring going on. Angel number 888, please look up angel number 888. But Scorpio, there's a lot of mirroring going on. If someone wants to Google the meaning of 888, I will pin it in the comments. I would appreciate it. I will tell you that there's a lot of good things trying to manifest in for you, but you are picking up on this person's energy. You are sharing feelings with them and they are dragging you down like an anchor. They have some kind of infatuation. They adore you, but they're dealing with addictions. They may be trying to get clean. They're making some judgment calls. They're um, going through severe heartbreak here right now. Scorpio, this is someone who is dealing with a lot of pain and sadness. It's consequence. It's, it's cause and effect. Again, they cannot treat their twin or their counterpart, their soulmate, like shit and expect not to have consequence. And that's what it is. Why three of swords? They're going through karma. They may have gotten their self wrapped up. They're defeated, guys. This is someone who is defeated. And Scorpio, do not be drugged down by them. They're anxious. They have low self-esteem. They, they're, uh, they're avoiding confrontation. They're walking on eggshells. They feel defeated. They feel like... Why do I feel so sad? Why do I feel so down? It's severe heartbreak. They miss you, but they don't know how to take the right steps. They also may be going through some breakup or having some judgment placed on them in the court of law. Um, here in the 3D, some of you are going to court or just have, and they feel defeated because you cleaned up, whether it was in child support or in alimony. This person just moves from one relationship to the next. They jumped into a relationship with a rebound. They, they don't reveal their feelings or emotions here. Their true intentions, it's like a guessing game. You never know what this person is really thinking or what they really want because they will go from telling you that they love you to ghosting you or uh, acting really mean and rude and cold to then coming in and acting like Romeo. This is someone who is all always hiding their true intentions and feelings. They have a lot to hide here. Tell me tell me why they feel so defeated. This could be an air sign, a Sagittarius. Something could happen around the 23rd on the Sagittarian full moon. Oh boy, Scorpio. This person is just in this anguish. This is how they feel. This is how they feel. They're just, they feel anguish. They really do. They miss you and they are going through it, but they deserve, this is their consequence, period. I cannot stress to you more. And Scorp, because you are sharing feelings with someone who is here, baby, you are most likely picking up on this low vibrational energy. Visualize yourself in a white bubble. I just did a meditation and I always visualize myself being picked up where my body's just laying. Like, do you ever see an alien movie when somebody is just like being pulled up? Where I'm, like I'm levitating and a beam of white light is coming down and cleansing over my body. I often visualize that. Visualize yourself in a bubble of light. You've got to start disconnecting from them energetically as much as possible. You do not want this deep anguish, severe heartbreak, defeated energy uh, affecting you and your life and your vitality, Scorp. What do they plan to do? Well, somewhere around cancer season all the way to the end of August to the end of Leo season, this person is going to come in, but they're very confused. They really do not know how to even fix it. All they know is they just feel defeated and sad without you, Scorpio. They're not quite sure what they want. There seems to be another person in the mix as well. They jump from one relationship to the next. They've now drug another person in on this. And they want to tell you something, but they're just so damn confused. They live in illusion. This person doesn't see clearly. They do not see reality like you and I do. They live in their own little world in bubble and spirits saying it will take a while, Scorp. Keep a good attitude here and make a decision. 
this person wants another chance to get it right. And again, we have July, like I said, cancer season to uh, the end of August, big for you. There will be something to celebrate. There's a blessing in disguise happening right now. Some of you, by the end of July, you are actually going to be able to release this person. You're going to be just fine with letting them go. And it's a blessing in disguise that you all didn't work out because this person's got so much pain and so much healing and so many trust issues and, and so much they've got to deal with. And it is karmic debt, Scorpio. You don't want to get drug in on that. By July, though, this person may come in wanting another chance to get it right, or they may want to come to a happy place with inside your relationship. I myself have a very good friendship with my twin. If I wanted to message him today, I would. You know, through the years, we've grew apart a bit, but we often check up on one another. And um, I am A-OK -okay with knowing I'll see you next lifetime. Some of you will get to that place where you're okay with that. It's a beautiful bond that you share, but but that's that. And you're going to go on and live your life here and you will have another chance to get it right with a new person, Scorp. I see things differently now. I check up on your social media. You always know what to say to make me feel better. And see, this is it. This person wants you to tell them it will be all right. They want you to nurture them. They want to get in your warm, beautiful, blessed energy. But Scorpio, if this person is feeling defeated and going through consequence because of how they treated you, it is not your job to make them feel better. It is not your job to do anything for them. You deserve a partner, not a damn project. So... I would be real clear with myself on that. If this person comes back in right now, they are defeated. They are down and out. And Scorp, just be careful that they don't hurt you by default. I hope everybody, this could be a Cancer or a Leo. I hope everyone has a beautiful and blessed Saturday. Do something fun today, Scorpio. Do a manifestation ritual. Do something here. It is the Jupiter, Jupiter Cassimi, baby. It is the most lucky day of the year. I'm going to go play some numbers. Love and light.